So let's talk about this plywood. It's not even plywood, it's MDF, right? Straight up MDF with the thinnest of veneers, you can hardly tell, but it's really beautiful stuff. Uh, it was the only thing I could get at my supplier that was a walnut veneer at the time. And I'm just super impatient. I kind of get these wild ideas. And to be honest, I haven't even ran this by my wife yet. It's going to be kind of a surprise, which as history knows with my surprises and my builds that I don't tell my wife about, sometimes she can get a little bit upset that I didn't ask for her input. After all, it is her house, so maybe I should have asked her, but we're going to gamble and go for it. Anyways, I went to my supplier. I saw that. I was like, that's perfect. I'm going to grab it. Instead of special ordering ply uh, plywood, we're going to use this MDF, and we're going to make it work. So I punched all my dominoes in here, doing a whole bunch of plywood layout over here. But I'm going to pre-glue in all these dominoes into the shelves so that this will be all one piece, make assembly a little easier. So this is my fancy setup to get these dominoes in for the dividing shelves. Got one more row to go here, and then I've got to do it on the top side of the shelf as well. Just a straight edge and a clamp. All right, so normally I would dry fit all this before I glue up, but I honestly don't trust this MDF if I had to tap on it a little more with a mallet or whatever and then getting these dominoes in and out. I don't want to wear out those holes. So I'm just going to go right into it. This usually doesn't work well for me, so uh, wish me luck, but here's where we're at. All right, so that is in the clamps. That's the bottom side. Now these are going to go and attach right there and go this way. So when it's standing up, these are like the side walls. to make a curve that goes across the top. All right, that glue up was a disaster. I might have to redo that and use actual hardwood. MDF just isn't really cutting it. Well, just kind of as I envisioned, this is not going to work. I'm gonna to have to just make this out of real wood. MDF sucks. There's no other way to put it. This thing is garbage. Now I've got a bunch of veneers here. This one's a little thicker than the rest just because it's the last one on the, uh, on the board. But the rest of these are nice and bendy. But I do need to run them through my drum sander quick. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna build a form to make a curve that goes on top of that. All right, so I bought this system a long time ago off of Amazon to make curves, and I've never used it before, and I figured today is the day. And I used that jig on some MDF to create this form, and I'm gonna use this form to hopefully create some bent laminations to create the arch that's gonna go on top of this shelf. So essentially, I take all those little veneers that I had cut out on my bandsaw, load them up with glue, set them on the jig, and then clamp it down. Well, I'm working up a pretty good sweat here, and that could not have gone much worse. I'm not happy with it. I don't know if it's going to be a complete loss. I'll find out tomorrow, I guess. I so it's going to be super wavy because I've got pressure in some spots and not in others. Really good pressure here, and then not so much pressure over on this side. But not much I can do now. Kind of a waiting game, see if it's... All for naught. All right, we have an arch. Not a pretty arch, but we have an arch. Oofta, this thing is not ideal. I've got some delamination occurring. I didn't get even clamping pressure and you can see those waves all the way around it. I've got my work cut out for me here. First thing I did was filled some of those gaps and reclamped them with some CA glue, which did help close them up a little bit. Next, I planed and sanded away some of those waves that you saw earlier. And then the best thing that I could have done is put the veneers on the face of this to hide the layers and the gaps that were across the face. I'm a glutton for punishment, so the back panel on this coat rack is going to be a little bit crazy. And my idea is to do a chevron end grain pattern across the whole thing. 
It's a five foot by four foot panel. So this is going to be the largest end grain cutting board you've ever seen. But essentially I cut everything at an angle and then matched it. So I have two parallel angles on each side and I'm gonna make this little glue up and cut them into tiny little strips. Well, this project is beating me up, holy crap. Um, I thought I had a plan, it was working good. I came back half hour later and disaster has So I was working on these veneers and I glued them down to this plywood panel, threw some weight on it, walked away, came back, and it started buckling. And I don't really understand why, but these two were like V'd up. And then there's two more V'd up here. And all of these veneers were perfectly flat until they touched the glue. And within seconds of touching the glue, they all started to cup up like crazy. I just don't really understand it. Uh, maybe it's the water content in the glue, but anyways, I'm gonna have to come up with a new plan. I think I'm going to use CA glue instead and place them all on one by one and hopefully that prevents them from cutting. Well guys, I used this method on one other project and it worked okay. The only thing is that project had like this section right here total in veneering, not this huge panel. And then I'm just doing a couple thin streaks on here like so. Give it a little bit of applicator spray and then press and hold for five to ten seconds. So I really want a floating bench on top of that cabinet that I made and I love cylinders right now. I think they're super cool. So I cut these cylinders and shaved them down with a hand plane and then made this custom piece in the middle. My wife hates this idea because it's going to be a bitch to clean, but I think it's cool. This is going to be over the top. The whole thing is going to be a little bit crazy, but that's kind of my style. I, I mean, there's, there's beauty and simplicity, but I kind of like the over the top stuff for my, my personal stuff that I look at at home. And this project is going to be that. I hope it all comes together the way it does in my mind. We'll find out. So my bench glue up went surprisingly well. Gosh, it feels like this has just been an uphill battle this entire way. Uh, nothing is going as planned, but that happens when you completely wing a project like what I have done throughout this whole process. So I have nobody to blame but myself. On to a more positive note, these undermount slides went in super nice and they are working very well. I started working on the drawers. I just made simple ones with pocket holes. They're gonna be plenty strong for this application and that soft close works great. Since this cabinet was made out of MDF, I got some walnut edge banding to clean up the edges and then it was off to start working on the drawer fronts. I wanted to do an integrated drawer pull because uh, I don't really like much of the hardware that I found, so this is what I came up with. I cleaned these up with a chisel and did a chamfer on the back side to give your hand somewhere to grab onto when you go to open these drawers. I also added these LED light strips to the back side and at night this looks absolutely incredible. To be 100% honest, I couldn't be happier with how this turned out. I'm kind of embarrassed to show the process of how it all went together because it was disaster after disaster, but I persevered through kind of the tough times and then just found new ways to either fix or, or change my original design ideas. And this is what I came up with. Thanks a ton for watching. We'll see you on the next build.
Thank you.